All right. So everyone, we record these meetings. If you don't want it recorded, we can unrecord it later on or not publish it on your request. I guess we can't actually unrecord it. That's not how that works, but we can unpublish it. So the use the pull requests we have today, uh, the first one is a first draft of code contributions by new contributors. And I'm looking at uh, edits from a week ago. Kevin, I don't know, was this, um, I wasn't at the meeting last week because I was uh, in Japan at a different meeting. So I'm wondering, it looks like this one's ready to merge, number 47. We're looking at... Uh, Kevin, you're, in micro you're breaking up really badly, Kevin. Yeah, you're, you're kind of freezing over here too. Uh, I'm... Think that real quick. So I'm I gonna drop out. I think it's you, Kevin. Yeah, because I can hear Sean just fine, but I can't hear you. Yeah, his network connection does okay. look. I'm going to drop out. Uh, when I drop out, uh, I don't know what's going to happen as far as ending the meeting goes because I think you, I might be the host. Can you right now, try to so. make Matt the host or me the host before uh, you end the meeting? See. Can you try to make one of us the host before you before you exit? I'm a co-host. Yeah. yeah. How do I do? All right. It should be okay. You should be able just to leave the meeting. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave. I'll be back. Okay. So it looks like, um, Matt, last week at this meeting, you asked uh, me, Ray, and or Gior to review pull request 47. It does not look like any of us has yet so i think we'll press the so, sorry say that again do that now maybe or just defer yeah um i can i can do that now if um it's hard to yeah i could i could um i can do that one right now because uh yeah let me just do that really quick Okay, so it's a it's a first draft and it's all new. So I see this one works for me. All right, so that one's closed. Mission accomplished. Then we have uh, another one suggesting a structural change in the README file, number fifty-eight. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just opening up. Um, these pull requests and looking at the code comparisons on the um, GitHub site. And I can share that in chat. I can also share my screen if that's helpful. Oops, I guess I tried to share it. I guess I tried to chat with just Kevin who's not here. Uh, So ostensibly you might be seeing my pull request screen right now. Um, and so it looks like there's some changes. Uh, uh, here, I see Jesus wants a bunch of changes to this. I see, I see. So there's some changes to a prior pull request that need to be processed and they require my attention. And so there's more here that I can attend to, but I'll at least- Hello. Hey, Kevin, can you hear us? Uh, yes. Sean, I think the issue here was just to see the structure. For example, if you go to the table of contents, right? Mm -hmm. What should go inside the readme file or what should not go there? Right. Now, we, I used a, a tool, a, an NPM tool, just to generate the, this thing so that it should have the link. And that okay. tool come, pre, comes pre-configured in such a way that it gives this as the headline. But it doesn't necessarily mean that any project that uses this tool to generalize a standardized readme file should have all these 
thing like security background installation and things like that. I so see. for our case, for example, if we don't have, need security, what else can we just you know write to to replace that with just to make right. the structure look yeah. So that's the structure that I was asking that you know, what kind of structure should we have? Now the content of what will go in in those sections themselves are not were not the main issue here. It was just to have that structure first. If it's approved, then okay, we can now proceed to fill this, the content. Okay. Um. I think Jesus points out there in the first comment that the structure is given by issue 55. Yeah. And I think I think there's um, there's some aspects of this pull request for, and it looks I, I hear what you're saying Armstrong. I think maybe there are some. So you generated some of the structure. Yeah. And and it seems like whatever you generated it from may have been an old version. The first comment just looks like the name of the working group was. Well, I just incorrect. put the I just you know the first time I did it, things it was not well understood what was happening I just put like fill the, in the introduction part because like if we go on the set like this issue 55 there is a place that uh, reads uh, introduction needs one line description one par one paragraph description and a short section that links to Z and I matrix repo and explain how this repo fit into our overall Chaos matrix effort. So this D I D and I matrix repo that it should point to. So it was just uh, a way that yeah I was understanding it to to point. So we're making it okay, making the structure consistent. Intro usage contribute. Okay. And then um so there's a, and I just think there's some, if I'm looking at the pull request, I just think there are some changes that um, need to be made to it. And so there's a couple of ways that we could make those changes. One is you could, oh, you could close the pull requests and just make some changes like Jesus suggests. Um, the, the biggest one I see is just this at the very top here they want the structure to be like growth, diversity, and inclusion, but we don't want the whole, we don't, the name of the repository is not diversity and inclusion. This is growth, maturity, and decline. So changing it to DNI is just a, it's, it's not the same name. It might, we want to follow the same structure, not rename everything. Do you follow? Yeah, the name is uh, DMI, is Growth Maturity and Decline. Mm -hmm. GMD. Yeah. And for so whatever reason, this changed. So, in the pull request, it is. In the pull request, if you look at my screen, you can see that. Okay, let me look on your screen. Uh, it is. So, I, I think that's. Uh minor issue to fix. Um, yeah. I, I so my question is for Armstrong, what kind of feedback he needs from us to continue advancing this pull request? Okay. Just for example, like I explained earlier, certainly we might not be installing things here. So like this structure that we, we is generated, what are the structures that we are using here? Certainly, we need an introduction, right? Yes. So, introduction is explained. We need background. We have a background. We surely will have a background, right? So, what are the other things like a maintainer? Yeah, we need that one. The contributing yeah, maybe we need that one. What else should go inside this document, and what should not go? Like, um, you understand? If you go on the table of content, just follow that structure there and see what I'm explaining, then we will know what to put in the file and what not to put. That's just all we needed. So I think, I think in the, so Ben Lloyd, Ben's comment, um, which comes from uh, Richard Litz, 
best practices as intro table of contents, background usage, contribution license, or contribute license. Those seem seem like the right headings for this working group. Security, for example, doesn't seem relevant to me. I don't know what other people think. Not that it's not relevant, but it's not a central concern. Yeah, that's why I said like it, it, it was just generated automatically from the tool. Right. So let's just take out the things that yeah. we don't want. Okay, yeah. So that's the thing I was like asking, you know. Do because you, like what he proposed in this issue 55 that you are reading, there is still a, an area, I think even last, he is always referring to the Z and, Z and I repo. So how should we... Uh, and I think, I think that was where that link came I see. From. I see. So, um, the goal is to make the working groups have a README structure that has some consistency so that when a new person approaches either working group, they have an experience that's not disorienting, that it's clear that we're part of the same project. Okay. I think, I think that's the, the central that's the central point of pointing at, at diversity and inclusion matter. Georg or Kevin can redirect me if I'm wrong about that. And, and so that's can the only part. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if, if the goal here is to make these, these two structures aligned, I, I propose that maybe we put together a team between both groups and just have them do the pull request in both places because we're we're dealing with a situation where one of us is always playing catch up. Like we're trying to make ours look like D and I. They're trying to make theirs look like ours. Yeah. Uh, if they change something structurally in theirs, all of a sudden it becomes an issue where do we need to change something structurally to ours? Uh, I think this, I don't this think, might I don't be think... a situation if we're if we're looking for consistency. Maybe we need to work outside of the, the GMD work group to do it. Just a thought. I don't want to make this, I don't want to make another committee. <laughs> I don't want to make this more work than it is. I think, I, cause I think, I think we're going to, and I'm not saying what you're saying is like necessarily wrong. I'm just saying, I think, I think you're right. We are chasing sort of a moving target. Uh, so and I haven't looked I at the first inclusion um, to know what that README. So we have is. not started on the README. It's an action item. Uh, um, okay, so Paul is going to coordinate with Ben on okay. uh, aligning the README. All right, so let's. So from our side, it's Nicole working All on right. it. All right. And then if from GMT it's Armstrong and then Ben is on both. So okay. I just three of them that. maybe could coordinate, that would be good. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know that or I missed that. Maybe that happened in discussion the week I was gone. I know we talked about this a good deal yesterday on the weekly call as well. Um, so what I might do with pull request 58 is... Um, add a comment um, to, to make sure that the language I think uh, and I think um, and then I'm resubmit pull request. I don't think we need to 
resubmit pull request, it's enough to just make a new commit to the branch. All right, all right. Um, That's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, make, ensuring some alignment with the headings that Ben notes in issue 55. And then, or then we will merge this PR and expect the cross group iteration to continue. Does that make sense? You know, I think we can wrap this PR up without, we don't have to close all of the coordination across the working groups to wrap this PR up. I think this pull request adds value independently and we don't have to get everything into one pull request or one commit in my opinion. So if, um, so the question now is Armstrong, does the feedback help you to move forward or is there something else you need from us? And this this is the feedback here, right? And What's you're muted, screen? so I cannot hear you, Armstrong. The feedback is useful. Okay. Just making yeah. sure you have a way to move forward so that Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think just a few changes to and then just a new commit to the pull request. Um, okay, so the, the existing one. readme file, for example, has introduction and some of the, the content that we will be using. Can we maintain those? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. I think the, the, the key takeaway is to collaborate with Ben and Nicole to produce the document, right? Well, that's, I think that's a key takeaway, but I'm saying that I think we can close this pull request and continue that work. So we don't have to wait for them to finish. We don't have to wait for the cross group alignment of readmes. We can make these changes, which is a step in the right direction. And then once we're finished making, then we close this pull request and we issue another one when the two groups come together and have additional changes that they want to align around. In other words, don't keep this pull request open infinitely. It adds value and moves us in the right direction. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. And then okay. once Armstrong, once you get the changes in, um, I'll review it again and everyone else will review it again. And we might have no comments to make more changes or it's already ready to go and be uh, committed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think this is going to be ready to be committed with a couple small changes. So um, I don't think this one has far to go. So I'm going to move on to the fifth issue pull request 59. Uh, scope and goals. I'm code. sorry, are we doing issues or pull requests? I was doing pull requests first. Okay. That's where I started. Do we usually, and I, I've, we're still, do we usually do issues first and then pull requests? It, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I just, you, you just said issues, so I'm, I'm trying to take notes. I'm, uh, I didn't know if I needed to jump to, if I was on the wrong screen. <laughs> yeah. Um, nope. Uh, this is the right oh. screen. So, sorry. This pull okay. request. Um, hmm. So I haven't looked at the commits for this. Okay, Jesus has added some goals um, for code development. This looks very straightforward. He's just adding a little bit. Um, so this one looks good to me. Um, so this one's pretty straightforward. Can merge that. Um, and probably be able to merge this one next week if we don't merge it ahead of time. And for issues, uh, looks like there's, I don't know, 
what was discussed in the last meeting, Kevin? Is there, um, I don't think we need to go through all of I can go th through that if you'd like. Go th which, how many issues, which issues Let me do we just, uh, Okay, so, so yeah, actually yeah. 50, 55, 51, 50, 48, 44, 43, uh, looks like 43 was closed. Oh, yep, 43 was closed. Okay. Uh, so those all of the these issues are uh, basically continued from last week. I don't think there's anything. Uh, so the, the readme issue is what we were just discussing. The uh, prepare Google Summer of Code proposal is assigned to, I believe that's assigned to Jesus. Yeah. Uh, uh, the use no, case manager issue case is assigned to you. I'll assign issues to that. Yep, so it looks uh, like, okay, so there's some stuff that I have unfinished from. Characterized participant, we're waiting on. All right. So I'm just looking at the, you're breaking up, Kevin, so it's hard to um, track, but I'll, I'll just okay, say that sorry. it looks like most of these issues um, either they continue and they don't have a resolution right now, and uh, several of them are assigned um, to me. And actually, have, uh, so I need to go and catch up and work on my use cases before our next discussion. Excuse me, our next discussion. Does anyone else have anything that they want to I, discuss? I think that's on fair. These I, I, uh, does anyone have anything they want to discuss on these issues? Okay. Is there, are there Armstrong or Georg, Matt, Kevin, are there any other issues that you want to talk about you know, in this meeting this week? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Oh. I can. You you break up a lot, but go ahead. Okay. Uh, we do have the uh, goals for the upcoming year uh, right. that we're still discussing. Mm -hmm. uh, I just in the in the chat window, I just put the uh, the working document there. It's just uh, a Google document. Kevin, could you create a issue for that and oh, yeah. and yes. reference the Google mm -hmm. document as our working document? for those goals and um, that way we can track it in the same way that we're tracking other things. So Kevin's going to create that issue. Or is there anything else that we need to bring up other than other than that? Any other new business from anyone? Can we, uh, uh, Jesus had, uh, uh, now Jesus had in the email list, Jesus had talked about setting the agenda prior to next week. So part of that would be uh, at the end of every meeting, we would add any agenda items uh, that we want to add now to the sure. discussion. And then I when I add the notes to when I archive the notes, uh, we'll have the agenda for next meeting posted. All right, so Kevin, you'll post the notes. Yes. And in terms of agenda items, I don't have anything other than our ordinary review of issues and pull requests other than the, the 2019 plan. So probably I think the 2019 plan. Yeah. In, is anything, probably, anything other than the normal. Yeah. I don't, I don't have anything other than the normal besides that 2019 planning. Oh. 
You know what? I'm going to change my mind on that. I'm going to say that let's add a discussion about risk and um, risk and value. And I'll report to this working group on the risk and value discussions that I had last week in Japan. I'll probably create a few pull requests inspired by things I learned. What did you learn? Mostly that there is a very active uh, risk, I guess a group that could, I think, be interested in working with risk in Japan and in the, the Asian region. And the significant block for that region participating in this working group as a sort of a large umbrella is the time that we have our call. And uh, certainly why I wasn't here last week. And um, I, I think I think that there's some there's some desire to have a call uh, that's focused on compliance risk kinds of items specifically um, later in the evening around like 6 p.m. Central. Yeah. And I talked with Kate Stewart about that, and uh, I agreed that if there was enough um, mojo push interest. I guess a lack of resistance from this group on having a, a risk focused call, a compliance risk focused call at 6 p.m. Central um, regularly, um, that we'd probably start doing that either probably early in the new year. Okay. Um, because she she's really interested in it and there's a strong group in, in the Asian region who's interested in it, so. Did she imply that she would be willing to kind of run it? Yeah, I don't think that she said that. <laughs> but I think I think that we can ask her to help okay. with with that. I think I think that's a strong part of that's that's one of the things that's in her Yeah, I agree. I mean obviously with her work on SPDX, so Right. So she and the, so yeah. And so I think that's that's the I would say of the without there are other specific ideas that I need to go back to my notes and review. Um, okay. I just, <laughs> I mean, I, I agree. I mean, I think, I think risk should be it's, but we, we need to account for it. Right. And right now it's currently sitting with growth maturity and decline just because I wanted yeah. to clean, clean things up. Well, and I think we can keep it in this working group. I think we, we have a call that call would serve two purposes. One, it could be a, I think it would focus most on, risk and comp compliance risk. But I think it would also be a, a time that would engage the different region on yeah. the globe okay. in well, discussion. I mean, so if we keep it inside this working group, I still think administratively that's easier to keep my head around. I, I think it's easier for me too. We don't have to have yeah. another repository. We don't have to have yeah. another two maintainers on that repository. Right. right. So I don't want to change any of that. I, I think it's, from my perspective, okay. it's about creating a time and a context. Well, could we consider it to be like a focus area? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, would that just be the easiest way to do it? Yes, absolutely. That would be the, so that would be like a, a pull request that I could create before next week. Good. Just to add that. Area call for risk. Focus area with a separate call. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's all right. All right. If anyone else, does anyone else have anything that we should discuss this week or? Did you get a t-shirt in Japan? I didn't actually. Did you get it? Um, yeah, there was um, like a headscarf. Okay. Some kind. Yeah, yeah, I know it was, I had to ask what it was, but it's okay. pretty cool. Okay. Um, and it, there was some other, like I got some, a bunch of Zephyr stickers. Okay. So <laughs> I'm good to go on the Zephyr stickers. Uh, I, I got plenty to share with the team when I. All right, well, that's cool. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, a lot of good, a lot of, a lot of really good discussions. First time I've had myself translated into another language yeah. it, while I was speaking. That's cool. That was new. That's also that's also very cool. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, Sean, if you have a second, like after this meeting, can I ping you? Yeah, absolutely. Call you on Google Hangouts or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Bye bye. I'm good.
Oh, he's gone. We're done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, bye.